Hey everybody, Dawn McGee, your wellness strategist and nutrition evangelist here. I'm finally back from Tokyo, and if you were following my trip, you know that I had a great time. I ate all the food, I saw many of the sights, and um, it was great. If you haven't seen my pictures, go back and take a look at them. Good times are had by all. Um, but here's the thing, and this is why I'm talking about self-care today, because last week, we were super busy. We did all the things and we burned the candle at both ends. And this week when I came home, you know, after a 20 hour flight and, you know, all the, all the things, um, I had a cold and a cough and I was losing my voice. And, um, so I was forced <laughs> to take some self care time, right? I spent, you know, a couple of days on the couch uh, of course, the jet lag is kind of brutal coming from Asia, but nonetheless, I still wasn't 100%. So, uh, you know, it took me until today, five days later, to really start feeling human again. So I lost all that time. And was it worth it? Well, you know, you can debate that. You can decide for yourself. But, um, but I hate to lose time like that. So what I want to talk about is why self-care is so important. It's because you get to continue doing all the things that you love doing and all the things that you need to do. And, what, and that includes taking care of yourself as well as taking care of whoever else in your life that you generally take care of. So, um, you know, without being able to, to talk, I wasn't able to um, have conversations with my kiddo. I would go into a coughing spell if I was talking for more than, you know, five or 10 minutes. I'm better now. I can get up to about an hour or so, but still I have to let my voice heal um, to get back to full strength. And so my my advice for y'all is is make sure that you are balancing. Balance is always the watchword, right? Whether we're talking about what you put on your plate, um, how you do your exercise, or how you take care of yourself. It's about balance. Enjoy all the things and make sure that you're getting enough sleep, that you are stretching. We were doing five to seven miles a day, and, and I absolutely had to stretch each night in order to be able to get up the next morning and do it again. So, so I got that part right, but not as much in the, the, the resting part. So word to the wise for, for the future is make sure that you're also getting enough balance in your recharge time and that you're spreading that in throughout uh, your vacations, your daily life, your work life, your family life, and all the things. Um, at the time, obviously, I thought I was doing okay. It wasn't until afterwards that I came back and hit a wall and found out that I should have had a little bit more balance towards the recharge time. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, I'm going to go and continue resting my voice, and I will see you next week. And as always, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up any of the things that bring you joy. Until next week, ciao.